heard Psalm 23 sung as a hymn, and now we're going to read it in English and in French. Jeanne Iradukunda is one of our scripture readers on Sunday. She'll be reading in French on Sunday, and Jean will now read Psalm 23 in French. Je vais lire Psalm 23. Le Seigneur est mon berger. Je ne manquerai de rien. Il me met au repos dans des prés d'herbe fraîche. Il me conduit au calme près de l'eau. Il ranime mes forces. Il me guide sur la bonne voie, parce qu'il est le berger d'Israël. Même si je passe par la vallée obscure, je ne redoute aucun mal, Seigneur, quand tu m'accompagnes, tu me conduis, tu me défends. Voilà ce qui me rassure. Face à ce qui me fait vers du mal, tu prépares un banquet pour moi. Tu m'accueilles en versant sur ma tête un peu d'huile parfumée. Tu remplis ma coupe jusqu'au bord. Oui, tous les jours de ma vie, ta bonté, ta générosité me souffrant pas à pas. Seigneur, je reviendrai dans ta maison aussi longtemps que je vivrai. And now I'll read it in English. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. In the church, we have uh, the window with Jesus holding a lamb. And uh, that is uh, referencing John chapter 10, where Jesus says, I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. But he's also referencing Psalm 23. And so it's worth looking into this psalm. And what I see in it is this reassurance that we will have everything that we need. In the same way that a shepherd will take care of the needs of sheep, uh, we will have everything that we need. And it's a matter of faith to trust that God will give us the things that we need, uh, that we will have uh, abundance in our lives. And so we pray for those who do not have that, that abundance, but we also trust that we will find what we need uh, here in our community and in all the challenges that we have. Uh, and so it's a, it's a great hymn and it's a great passage for us to work through how we trust God. You probably heard this uh, hymn as part of a funeral, but in this season, uh, it turns us to uh, a wider trust in God's uh, looking out for us. And I wanna conclude with the prayer, uh, the, a beautiful prayer that uh, ends that reflection on Psalm 23. Glory to you, Jesus Christ, our good shepherd. In the waters of baptism, you give us new birth. At your table, you nourish us with heavenly food. And in your goodness and mercy, you guide us beyond the terrors of evil and death to your Father's home to dwell in eternal light. Glory to you forever and ever. Amen. And so on Sunday, come and hear Psalm 23 and uh, consider how God is really looking out for our needs. Look forward to seeing you.